It's officially Easter, so there's been a few new releases, and I've done some off-camera grinding here to make sure that today's episode, we can add some brand new enchants to our pickaxe. Let's get in with it today. Yes, hello, everybody. Welcome back into a brand new episode of Minecraft Prisons. Today, of course, we're back here on Akuma MC, the best number one rated Minecraft prison server. Back again for another episode in this brand new season, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. It is awesome to have you here. Guys, I'm excited for today's episode because I have finally done some off-camera work that we needed to do in order to uh, actually get our pickaxe level up to where we want it to be and get some gems that we can actually spend in today's episode as well so it's all going to be a good time today and like i said because it's easter there are actually some brand new crates that have been released which uh we're going to be purchasing because we actually now have the premium battle pass so we're going to get a couple for free in there and we're also going to go ahead and uh buy some from the store because we won some coupons in last episode that we need to we need to use there's no point in them just sitting there now, obviously you guys know that uh if there's new crates then it means i'm going to give some away so uh stay tuned if you guys want to be in the the chance of winning that now shout out to captain sparky which was one of my I, I guess technically still current gang members although we're not really doing the gang or anything um they basically gave me just a whole bunch of these booster things and uh also like a bunch of these attachments which are tier three so they're pretty much higher tier than anything i have right now so before we get into anything today i want to make sure i'm adding all of these things of you know the most valuable tier so We've got uh, Guardian's Beam right here. We'll add that one. Now, we do have an Alien Strike one, but I don't even think I have this enchant unlocked yet, so I'm not going to bother putting that on right this second. Um, we do have a Vein Miner one right here, which is a 24%, which I think is about twice as good as the one I previously had in there. Then we have a Meteor Shower one. Now, I don't even know. Do we even have Meteor Shower? Okay, we do have Meteor Shower, so it would be worth us actually adding that. Um, so let's just take out something which I guess we don't have. I don't think we have profit yet. So let's go ahead and put in Meteor Shower. There we go. We now officially have some bigger boosts that we did not have before. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, save the rest of them into my PV here because at some point we'll probably need them. So a nice little upgrade in reality. We'll take it. That is uh, something which we've definitely needed. So obviously because I've done a little bit of grinding, I think we, yeah, we got two new mines. So that made uh, us get a tier 21 pouch and a tier 22 pouch. Let's get those open, get a couple of tokens in from those. We'll take that. And uh, yeah, th this is kind of where we're at for today's episode. So obviously the point of me mining to where I am is so that we can do a little bit more mining. I think we'll need one XP finder proc on our pickaxe to get it to a level 200. And then we will officially unlock two brand new enchants, which we haven't touched yet this season. And I know for a fact that today we're going to be investing heavily into one of them. So that's kind of the whole point of today. I'm going to get this pickaxe level up to 200 right here just by getting this last little bit of the 199 and then we are going to be good to go. And then we'll head into the store. We'll take a look at what there is to purchase and we'll figure out something. Um, I'm probably only going to be buying the bundle from the store and then we'll uh, we'll get some additional crates from, like I said, from the battle pass. And we'll take a look at the battle pass because we've actually only just unlocked the premium tier pretty much. So there's probably a whole bunch of stuff in there which we haven't even noticed we've got. And I think... We might even have had another um, another week released of challenges. So there might be a couple of easy challenges which we can complete. So there we go. Pickaxe level 200. That's cool. Um, let me quickly take a look in the store and we'll decide also what we want to do for a giveaway. So I think there's a brand new Easter bundle. So I think that's what I'm going to go ahead and purchase for myself. And then since they're brand new crates, I'm just going to give away like an actual bundle of crates. So we're going to give away the four Easter crates. If you guys want to be in with a chance of winning this, all you guys need to do right now is like this video, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you comment your username down in the comment section and then join up in the giveaways only discord and press the enter button in there please make sure you do all of those requirements because if you get picked by the discord giveaway bot and you haven't done those requirements you will get re-rolled i can see if you've done them um so yes make sure you do all of those now let me go ahead and purchase my bundle and uh, i'll be back in a second all right purchase has been made so it should be through here any second let's actually go into the battle pass while we're waiting for that and take a look at the rewards which we already have um, now we can actually claim five pickaxe levels, but I'm going to save those because I feel like at some point we're going to need that more than I need it right now. Um, so I'm going to just, yeah, I'm just going to save that. And once we get to maybe another point where I need to get that, we will. Um, so we do get a weekly crate right there at tier 10. That's not a uh, not a bad place to be getting one already. I thought it was actually uh, um, after that. So maybe there'll be another one here that we get to claim. Yes, there is level 19. Perfect. Uh, we'll take that. So that's already two more weekly crates for us today. Lots of rewards, actually. We get another weekly crate there. My bundles just come through as well. So we'll take that. We get some attachment boxes, some mystery vaults, and another... Wow, what the heck? Okay, so we're going to get to open five weekly crates today. And actually, this was probably the good week to like save them for because they're actually uh, obviously upgraded from the week before and uh yeah i'm glad that we didn't claim that like last episode because it would have actually been the last ones 
um, from you know the previous week, and they wouldn't been a, uh, wouldn't have been as good. So. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll definitely take the upgrade there. So I thought that this crate bundle would actually come with all the previous crates, but I guess they only do the previous one as well with it. So um, yeah, I, I guess I should have read that before I purchased it, but I guess it's still not bad. We get two crates at the price of pretty much one, like an extra $5. So we won't complain there, I guess. So let's get into opening these. So theoretically, the Easter crate should be the best crate that we have right now um, or have, you know, seen this season. So let's take a look at what the rewards go up to here. We can get some tier three attachment boxes, which would be absolutely clutch. Um, we could get some Easter V kit shards, door coupons, and all that good stuff. So it's um yeah, it's not it's not actually a bad one. All right, let's open up the uh let's open up the angelic one first, which was the previous week's crate. We'll see if this uh gives us anything good here. Probably not, but you never know. Um, three mystery bolts of diamond. Honestly, that's not that bad. We could have definitely had a lot worse things given given to us right there. We'll see what they actually do give us out of the diamond mystery bolts, but I, I I'm pretty sure. Well, no, they are the best here, so. Um, yeah, we'll see. Even if it's just tokens at this point, it probably helps. Um, we do get a lot of skin boxes. We got a Mortar Madness rune of level 5. That's not bad, actually. And I think that probably does beat any other rune that I have right now. So, yeah, not bad. We'll take that. Right, on to the Easter crates. Let's open up our first one of the season right here. This is uh, what we're giving away today, obviously, as well. So, hopefully, they're going to be good. We get uh, one tier 3 attachment box. Let's open it up. I'm looking for Jackhammer, I think. I feel like I'm looking for Jackhammer. We'll see what we can get out of this um we get meteor which is uh, that, that's fine we actually do have that in john and i don't think that's one of the attachments which i was given so we'll take that that's not bad at all let's open up the next easter crate see what we can get come on give me something huge here i need something huge we get a oh an enchant proc booster i didn't even realize those were in there these are an absolutely clutch booster and in fact they probably sell for a good amount of money i'm gonna i'm gonna be straight up with you guys um those are usually one of the better selling items so we won't complain about that at all. That's a very, very nice win. We take those. All right, next one, Easter Crate. Let's see what you got for me. I'm going to need to see. I want to see a coupon. That would be cool to get my money back. Um, Three tier two. What was it? Tier two attack. Oh, crystal boxes. Okay, that's not bad at all. Uh, what do we have for crystals right now? Actually, I can't really remember. Oh, we do already have some tier twos, but maybe these will give me some higher percentages. And I also have an extra slot right there, which I completely forgot about. Let's open these actually real quick. See what we can get. Um, we got a rank up crystal for 20% boost. Not bad at all. Gen crystal for 17% and a token crystal for 16%. Let's check if any of those uh, beat what we already have in here. 16.29 on the token. I mean, it's it's marginally better. So we'll put that one in. 12% uh, on the gem. So we do actually get a better one there. I think all around we got better ones. So those are nice little perks and bonuses to have, to be honest with you. We'll take them. Um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I have no complaints with everything that we just got. All right, next two crates. Here we go. Easter crate, what we got for me. Technically, half of these crates were free from the battle pass, so we'll take this. Um, we do get a V-Kit Shard Easter. And I know one of my uh, gang members was actually looking to purchase these, so uh, I'll be selling that straight off to them. That is a nice little win for us. Uh, we, we obviously already have that one unlocked because I think we have pretty much every V-Kit unlocked. Um, so we don't need that, but it's good money and it's uh, going to boost up the token balance, no doubt. So we'll take it. Um, all right, last one here, and we get three Diamond Mystery Vaults. I'm kind of surprised that the Diamond Mystery Vault quantity wasn't um, like increased because I'm pretty sure we got three out of the previous weekly crate as well. But you know what? That's okay. We won't complain. Nice little opening, all be told. Nothing to complain about there. We'll take everything that we just got. And uh, I mean, it's all usable. It's all it's all good stuff. So yeah, um, that, that that's a very nice opening. Honestly, Easter Crate. Yep, definitely the best one that's come out so far. So on to the pickaxe upgrades. Like I said, we hit the uh, we hit the pickaxe level 200, which actually unlocked two brand new enchants. So in the token enchant category, it unlocked Quiver, which we can just go straight ahead and max out. We, you, you, you know, if you, if you watched the last episode, then you know we had a kind of excess of uh, excess of tokens. So I'm going to go ahead and max that one out straight away. Now it is a token based enchant, so it only does really help with tokens. Um, but you know, I'm, 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 I'm absolutely happy to do it. It's at this point, we just want to max every enchant that we can possibly get. Um, it looks like we've got some gang upgrades here to the other uh, available max enchants. So I will make sure that we've maxed everything that we possibly can here. There we go. That's where we're at on the token enchants. We have literally every enchant apart from me to PayPal because I don't really like I don't really use it. It's not really something that I would find much benefit from. So I'm not going to bother with that, although I would rec recommend it for you guys. Like uh, this is basically free coupon balance. Obviously, you know, I'm partnered with Akuma, so we don't really need it. Um, But 
yeah, for you guys, I definitely recommend. Oh, and then for the gem enchants, we unlock uh, this bad boy right here. So it's Dragon's Eye. Essentially, this um this means that when you are mining and you get a jackhammer proc, and it, you know it clears that entire la layer of the mine, you can basically um basically virtually mine all of those blocks that are being broken. So obviously, this right here, that's like six raw blocks or however many blocks I hit right there. Now, when it clears the layer, that doesn't really count as raw blocks or whatever, but it can do if that enchant procs alongside it, which means it's basically like you've mined all of those hundreds of blocks by hand, which means you could get, you know, imagine how many enchant procs you get if you mined all of those blocks by hand. It would be pretty crazy. So essentially, when that enchant goes off, that's exactly what happens. So let's go ahead and purchase it. I'm just going to go as many levels as I can right here. We're obviously spread out quite a lot with our gem enchants um, right now, but... You know, I did save up the 230 million gems so that we could do this today. So uh, hopefully it is going to be beneficial for us. And, and getting those extra procs theoretically should help us with gems. It was just something that, uh, you know, it's, it's something we needed to do. I know that technically a lot of the other gem enchants also help with gems. So it's just a case of saving up the gems at this precise moment. There's nothing really crazy to it. We've just got to put a lot of work into, you know, getting the prestiges, getting the uh, getting the gems and all the enchant procs and stuff like that and just getting on with it. That, that is kind of the only thing that we can do. I just got to put some more hours into actually mining. Having said that, we should have some gems saved up in our robots. Um, so let's go to robots gem right here and see what we've got. We've got 24 million. So actually not a lot, but you know what? It's uh, it's better than nothing. We'll take it for right now. It, uh, it should help actually with that enchant. So let's see how many more levels we can get now. We get 12 more levels there or we can put it into something else. Black hole is another really good one um that, that that we could use what i'm actually gonna do is i'm gonna put one level of frozen gorge just so that we've actually started the enchant because you know i, I want to have like at least one of every enchant on here technically this is a gem based enchant so it could actually benefit us rock chance of it is actually very very low so you know we probably won't see it that often but we'll uh you know it's, it's good to just keep adding these things and and eventually we'll start to notice them all pile up on top of each other and we'll you know they, they'll all have their own benefits in their own ways there's so some really nice additions there to our pickaxe setup i would say i'd say that we're in a really good place right now especially with all of those crystals and attachments and all the good stuff that we've added today we're in a really nice place now like i said what i want to do today is i want to check out the battle pass because i think there's another week um and hopefully if there is another week then there should be a whole bunch of easy quests so let's go in here and take a look at what we can actually do here um we can talk in chat so run the slash mines command that is like the easiest one that we can do that'll be a battle pass level up no problem at all there we'll do that all day every day um next one is run slash enchant see i love these ones i love these easy easy challenges look at them they're so easy why why would you not do all of these these are freaking literally so easy and if i'm getting weekly crates from these it's just ridiculous it's just ridiculous um all right is there any other easy ones here doesn't look like it okay so we've kind of we've you know we've kind of done what we can do right now i mean talking in the chat's a fairly easy one but uh you know i'll kind of do that off camera i don't want to sit here and spam 250 messages daily quests is there any really easy ones in here talk 100 times um destroy 50,000 blocks we'll probably do that in between a bunch of other things so we kind of done all the super easy ones let's go see if there's any additional rewards in here for me to claim should be a couple attachment box attachment reroll and a more attachment boxes okay we'll take it we're actually only three tiers away from another weekly crate which is actually kind of insane to think about the fact that it's that that close up and we literally only just got one we take those we definitely do take those now i should have a bunch of keys but what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to save up those keys because i feel like keys are really really good pretty much for only one thing and that's tokens and right now we don't necessarily need the tokens so i'm gonna leave it for a point where we do because i mean it would be nice just to you know it'd be nice to think that we've got no hope and then just find a bunch of tokens in keys so that's kind of what i'm gonna do there's not necessarily i don't think there's really anything else that i can get from it that i really need so yeah we'll hold fire on that and uh we'll let the keys just stack up now where are we at our, with our challenges because i don't really know have we completed this yes we have all right there we go i didn't even know that we completed that challenge so uh we'll claim the reward and then we'll take a look at what the next challenge says or the next requirements for the challenge is going to be reach pickaxe level 85 easily done open a pet egg we can do that no problem upgrade cluster bomb to 500 we already have that so we are pretty much good to go on all of these uh let me just open a pet egg real quick because we should have about 500 of them in our pvs 
<laughs> somewhere. Here we go. Let's open up this bear tag. Boom. There we go. That's an easy quest complete. And then the mine the 100,000 blocks is not a hard one at all because all we need to do is take these drills, which we've got sat in our PV doing absolutely nothing, and uh, use those on the mine real quick. And this should... I don't know how many stacks of these it'll take, but I don't think it'll take all of them. I don't know. We'll find out. But let me place these down, and uh, I guess I'll tell you guys how many uh, how many it actually takes to get the 100,000 blocks. Okay, might just about have taken all of those, apart from one stack, maybe. Um, Yeah, yeah, there we go. Okay, we're good. Um, Unfortunately, my mind did reset after I'd done this whole layer, so actually, yeah, all of that would have probably been good. Um, so yeah, not too bad. Easy, easy quest completions right there. We'll take that. And I believe we get milestone rewards at some point here for completing a bunch of these. So uh, yeah, not bad. And yeah, there we go. Just like I said. Uh, next one is to upgrade mythical armor piece level 20. Uh, feed candy to a pet. Reach uh, rank 500 with your mine and then mine that. So the rank 500 is the only thing that we can't really do right now. Um, so other than that, we yeah we, we, we can probably do the others. But I'm going to leave that for the second because, like I say, we don't have the my rank yet. Probably have a whole bunch of unclaimed milestones because I haven't really been focusing on claiming these. I probably should do because there's a whole bunch of really nice stuff in here. As you guys can see, my inventory is pretty full of openables right now. And I will probably just open those off camera because there's nothing like particularly amazing that we can get from them at the minute. Um, unless we start getting like diamond vaults, then at that point we'll be good. But yeah, right now... I don't think there's anything crazy we can get from these. We'll take all the spare tokens and stuff it's given me, though. I will not complain a uh, bit about that. But, guys, I think that is where we're going to go ahead and end off this episode. We've done a whole bunch of progressional stuff today. I'm glad that we finally unlocked some brand new enchants and got some added to the pickaxe. I'm going to continue to grind. We need to get our gems absolutely up there because it's really the only thing letting us down right now. So I need to put in, like, you know, a good 100,000 blocks of uh, mining and then we'll see where we're at. Guys, that is going to be it for me today. Hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please make sure you do hit that like button. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all in the next episode of OP Prisons here on Akuma MC.